Hi everyone. So for today we're going to do a little twisting yoga class that is perfect to do any time of the day and hopefully it'll give you a lot of energy for the rest of your day. So when you're ready, we're going to find a comfortable seat. Hands on your knees, shoulders back and down, chin to your chest. And let's gently close our eyes. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently open your eyes. So inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, we're going to twist. So right, left hand is on the fingertips in front of us and the right hand is right behind us. So inhale, try to lengthen and exhale, twist. Belly engaged, three breaths here for one. On every inhale, try to lengthen and on every exhale, try to twist. Two, three. Inhale, arms come up, same on the other side. Exhale, right hand comes in front, left hand behind. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist. Two. And three. Inhale, come to the center, arms come up. Exhale, hands on your knees. Now, right hand comes to the right, the left hand comes above walk the right hand to the right you can look down you can look in front you can look above three breaths here for one try to ground that left hip two and three inhale come to the center same on the other side left hand down right hand comes up walk that left hand away find that nice stretch on all your right side body for one, two, and three. Inhale, come to the center. All right, now we're going to bring our right elbow on top of the left. Twist the arms, bring your arms in prayer. If you can't find this and you're kind of here, hold on to your uh, shoulder blades. So bring your hands in front, any way that, find, that you find is the best for you. And try to bring your elbows up, chin to your chest, belly engaged. And with every inhale, try to feel your shoulder blades opening up. Three breaths here for one. two and three exhale down you could do a few shoulder rolls if that feels right for you and same on the other side so left elbow goes on top hold on to your shoulder blades or hands in prayer elbows up chin to your chest belly engaged for one three breaths here two and three exhale hands come down do a few shoulder rolls and when you're ready we're going to come into a downward facing dog so find your downward facing dog make sure your feet are hip distance apart and parallel your hands are shoulder width apart your index fingers are facing forward head comes in shoulders away from the ears you can pedal out the feet if that feels right for you. You can keep your knees bent just to lengthen that spine or you can have your legs straight. Whatever feels right for you. Let's just take a few moments here. And from here, what we're going to do is bring your feet a bit closer together. On an inhale, we're going to bring up the right leg. Try to keep it point and try to keep your hips parallel with the floor. So bring that right hip down, shoulders away from the ears. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the knee to the nose and try to bring your body weight forward and bring your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, we're going to lengthen, send that right leg back. Exhale, come forward, knee to your nose and shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, send the right leg back. 
exhale bring it forward one last time inhale send the right leg back and bring it down same on the other side so inhale left leg goes back hips parallel with the floor and on an exhale knee to your nose bring your weight forward inhale lengthen exhale come forward inhale lengthen exhale forward inhale send that left leg back exhale place it down come onto your knees find an easy child's pose you can have your hands to your right and left just to give your hands a little rest your shoulders are a little rest one more inhale here exhale slowly come onto your hands and knees let's do a few cat cow poses just to give the spine a little stretch inhale open up exhale one more inhale and exhale from here look forward right hand forward left arm underneath left ear on the floor nice easy twist here three breaths here for one two and three inhale come to the center same on the other side right hand goes underneath right ear comes on the floor find this little gentle twist for one two and three inhale come on all fours from here let's find our downward facing dog we can do a little downward facing dog with a twist so try to bring your left hand and find your the outside of your right ankle hold on wherever feels right for you and what we're going to do is hold on and just give your body a little twist and you can look underneath your right shoulder for one three breaths here two and three left hand goes in front same on the other side right hand comes onto the left ankle give your body a little twist here for one two and three inhale hand goes in front exhale here inhale look forward right foot steps left knee down inhale come up all right right hand on the right leg or right hand on the floor next to us bring your left arm up left arm goes to the right and a little bit towards the back so feel a nice stretch in all of your left side body here three breaths here for one two belly engaged three inhale to the center now what we're going to do a little twist so left hand goes on the outside of the right leg there's a few options here either you stay in this a bit easier option or if it feels right for you you can bring the knee up or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous you can try to twist so left arm twists around the right leg and the right hand comes behind and sees if it can hold on to your fingers so straighten that back leg twist as much as feels right for you three breaths here for one two and three bring the knee down inhale arms come up exhale hands come down we're going to downward facing dog and from downward facing dog we'll do the same on the other side so inhale look forward left foot steps right knee down come up left hand goes on the left leg or on the left on the floor right hand comes up right hand goes to the left and a bit further back belly engaged three breaths here for one two and three inhale come up same on the other side so right arm comes on the outside of the left leg hands in front of heart center or if you want you can bring up that back knee and if you want if you're again feeling a bit more adventurous you can try to twist three breaths here for one 
two and three exhale knees go down inhale arms come up exhale hands come down <laughs> downward facing dog take a few moments here in downward facing dog give your spine a little stretch one more inhale exhale inhale look forward we're going to step the right foot keep the knee up inhale come up hands on your hips let's see if we can bring our knee over our ankle belly engaged arms come up shoulders come down one inhale here exhale now we're going to open up the arms to the right and left and from here we're going to twist so twist to the left sorry to the right bring your left hand in front right hand back try to stretch open up here exhale left hand comes to the left of your right foot and inhale bring that right arm up straighten that back leg belly engage find this little twist here three breaths here for one gaze towards your right hand two and three now we're going to stay here for another three breaths or we're going to bring our right foot in front or on top of the left and find a side plank for one two and three and from here right foot comes in front inhale come up exhale hands come down come into downward facing dog same on the other side so inhale look forward left foot steps come up hold on to your hips find this little pose here inhale arms come up exhale bring your shoulders down again open up those arms twist right hand comes in front the left hand is back shoulders are down exhale right hand comes down inhale look up at that left hand bend the left leg keep your right leg nice and straight twist belly engaged for one two and three and again if you want stay here or we're going to try to find our side plank three breaths here for one two and three <laughs> inhale look towards your right hand bring the left foot forward inhale arms come up exhale hands come down downward facing dog all right let's find our downward facing dog and from here let's look forward and take a seat so take a seat let's lie back all right hands by your side let's open up a little bit into some wheel or bridge poses whatever whatever it feels right for you so make sure with your fingertips you're touching your heels this will mean we've got a nice distance to open up into bridge or wheel pose feet are shoulder or hip width knees are hip width inhale bring the hips up exhale come down again inhale up exhale down three more times inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale and exhale now inhale again come up now this time what we're going to do is we're going to stay a little bit longer so see if you want to bring your shoulders a bit closer together this will help us come slightly further up push the feet into the floor if you want you can stay here otherwise we can work into our wheel pose so hands come by the ears the fingertips are facing the feet inhale we can push and bring the top of our head to the floor now either we can stay here or inhale come all the way up five breaths here for one two and three exhale come down and see if you want to do that one more time so inhale come up into whatever version you're working on 
for one. If this is getting a bit easier, you can walk your hands further in. Two. Three. Four. And five. And slowly come down. Hug your knees. Inhale. Slowly come up. What we're going to do now is step the feet down. Bring your hands in front of heart centre. If you're still working on bridge pose, I've got a tutorial, sorry, on wheel pose. I've got a tutorial so you can check out the tutorial section in my playlist. You'll find it there, along with a few others that you might find interesting. So for now, let's just take a moment here. Let's just give our back a little stretch, especially after working on bridge or wheel pose, whatever you are working on. stretch out a bit a little further so inhale slowly bring the hips up but keep your head down bring your feet parallel exhale bring your hands behind you interlace the fingers and fold forward inhale look up bend the knees and exhale find a seat again in malasana we'll do that two more times inhale hips up head down Exhale, hands come up overhead. Inhale, come up and exhale, find a seat again. Two more times like that. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, one more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale. All right, let's take a seat. If you've got a lotus pose, you can come into your lotus pose. Otherwise, you can have your feet in front of you. Hands behind, hold onto your elbows. Exhale, bring your head down. And we're going to stay here for five breaths. For one. Two. Three, four, and five. Inhale, come up. Thumb and forefinger together, shoulders back and down, chin to your chest. Try to lengthen the spine. Inhale here. Exhale. One, inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. One more inhale. And exhale. Five. Inhale, open the eyes. Slowly lie back. So let's lie back in a Shavasana just for a few breaths, just to give enough time for the body and the nervous system and our thoughts and everything just to settle down. Find a comfortable pose, lie here. Gently close your eyes.
one more inhale here. Exhale. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring a little bit of movement back to the body. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Stretch out the entire body. Exhale, knees to your chest. Roll from side to side. Just a nice little massage for our lower back. And from here, we're going to lie on our right side. Try to keep your eyes closed. One inhale here. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come up. Hands in front of heart center. One inhale here. Exhale. Gently open your eyes. And thank you for joining me for this class. If you enjoyed it, I've got several more classes like this on my channel. And let me know in the comments below how you got on or what more you'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.